In this tutorial, you'll learn the basics of how to use the cloning tools available in PaintShop Pro. The clone brush tool is used to cover parts of an image by copying colors or patterns from a neighboring area. I'll teach you how to clone a portion of an image, adjust the clone brush tool, and how to cover up unwanted areas. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. I have PaintShop Pro opened up with this beach shot. I want to remove one of the umbrellas and people from the shot and just keep this pair of umbrellas on the right. I can do that by using the cloning tool. So let's go to the left and select the clone brush tool or you can press C on your keyboard. And now let's zoom up on the umbrellas so we can be more precise with our cloning. First we can select our brush shape at the top and choose round or square. Then we can adjust the size of our brush. So what we're basically going to do with this tool is select a clone source from another area of the image to cover up the beach umbrella and people. To select a clone source, hover your mouse to where you want to start cloning from. Then right click. I'm going to right click on this patch of sand up here. Once you've selected the clone source, you'll see a circle with an X marking the clone source you've just chosen. Now we can pan our mouse over to the beach umbrella and begin clicking the mouse to clone from the clone source to cover up this area. You can also choose to hold down your mouse and drag to cover up the area. As we do this, you'll see how the circle with the X is moving as well, and this shows us what area we are cloning from as we do it. You can also see a semi-transparent overlay of the source material in the circle as you hover over your target area. So if you look in this circle where my mouse is, you can see a faded image of the sand that I'm about to clone on top of this umbrella. If you don't want to use this overlay option, just click on Show Overlay at the top to disable it. The umbrella has now been covered up, but you can see on the original image that there appear to be some tracks in the sand. These tracks are missing in this patch where the umbrella was. What we can do to fill in these tracks so the image looks authentic is right-click on one of the other tracks in the sand to create a new clone source from it, then click along the sand where the tracks are missing. And you'll see this will clone the other tracks into this gap, which makes the image look much more realistic. We can also use the Clone Brush tool to clone from one image onto another. First, make sure you open up the images you want to work with in PaintShop Pro. I have this image of some really beautiful abstract art that I like, and I want to clone the art onto this other image I have of a blank sketchbook with art supplies. I want to give the illusion that I've painted it myself. To do that, I'll right-click on the part of the painting that I want to begin cloning from to select my clone source. Then I'll go to the other image and begin clicking on my mouse to clone the art onto the sketch pad. You can change your brush size as needed. I prefer to click as I do this the closer I get to the edges instead of dragging, so I just have to click undo if I've cloned too much, and it will only undo the last click instead of the whole dragging motion. And you'll see how easily I have merged both images together. Finally, I want to show you how you can clone onto a new layer to preserve the original image as you clone. This makes it easier to make adjustments before merging both layers into one image. I have this landscape image opened up, and I want to remove the people on the grass. I'm going to first open up the Layers palette by going to Palettes, then Layers. Now I'll click on Layers, New Raster Layer, and I'll name this Grass Fix and click OK. Let's zoom up on the image so it's easier to clone. Now I'll adjust my brush size down, then go over to the Layers palette and make sure you select Background. We need to first select a clone source from the background image before cloning it onto a new layer. So right-click on a patch of grass that you want to begin cloning from. Now go back and click on the Grass Fix layer from the Layers palette and begin clicking your mouse to cover up the people sitting on the grass. Once you're finished, go to the Layers palette and toggle off the eye icon beside Background. 
you'll see that the grass cover-up has been saved onto its own layer, which you can adjust or fix independently if you need to, before saving the image to merge both layers together. These are just a few of the basic ways you can use the clone brush tools to remove unwanted objects from your images or clone from one image to another. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.